Hi guys, welcome to question 39. This is an example of a serial dilution question. With this one, there's a lot going on. You've got a strength, you're diluting it, and then you're diluting it again, and then you're diluting it using the diluting factor. So please work it slowly. Now with this one, I want to really stress that it's okay if you write it down, it's okay if you draw it, it's okay if it takes you a little bit longer to answer this, but please take your time and get this one right in the exam. Another key thing to mention is that when a question says diluted 1 in 20 with water, this means it's been diluted 20 times. So I hope that helps your understanding of dilutions. So with this one, what's happening is we have a stock solution 50%. We need to get 25 mils of that stock solution. So therefore, I've done it in red for you in step 2. 50%, we need 25 mils, so 50 grams in 100. 12.5 grams in 25. I've used the blue arrow for dilution. So then it's saying it's been diluted to 50 mils with water. So therefore, the 12.5 milligrams per 25 mil is diluted to 50 mils. So 12.5 grams in 50 mils in total. Now after that, let's move forward to the arrow in green. It's then requested that 20 mils of the solution that we have from the 12.5 grams in the 50 ml, it should be diluted to 1 in 20 with water. So we need to get 20 ml of that solution. So if it's 12.5 grams in 50, it's 5 grams in 20 milliliters. Now moving forward to the dilution, if it's 5 grams in 20 ml and it's dilution 1 in 20 with water, then we need to times this by 20. So 5 grams in 20 mils becomes 5 grams in 400 mils. We need to calculate as a percentage. Percentage is grams per 100 mils. Therefore, it's 1.25%. I hope that answers your question and helps your understanding. More questions coming soon. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.